Uh, behind me, you'll see the, the first uh, EC-145E that's been uh, brought into the United States. Uh, we're very excited about it. We are work, we're working on a marketing campaign with Airbus to move this aircraft around the country and, and up to Canada uh, to demonstrate the, the aircraft and its new capabilities. Well, we first uh, found out about the EC-145E uh, about a year ago on a visit to Donauwörth, Germany. Uh, we, I go over there once or twice a year just to, to uh, keep track of what the developments are and talk with them about our products. Uh, so we so we found out about the 145E, one of those trips, and we've been working with Airbus uh, for that past year in developing a marketing plan for this aircraft. And essentially, what is so what is so unique about this is it's as the industry has gone more technical and more sophisticated with more heavier and uh, more complicated equipment, this aircraft drops us back into a very simple, very very. Um, very good product for a utility VFR market. Uh, the aircraft itself, as it comes off the from Airbus, will be about 157 kilograms lighter than the C2 will be. It's the same engine as C2, same drivetrain as the C2. Everything is identical except that it does not have the IFR avionics the, that go along with the C2. When we did an analysis of that of a completed aircraft, we actually found that we could shave another. 35 kilograms off the completed weight of the aircraft, so you effectively get almost a 200 kilogram improvement in the useful load for the same configuration, same use of the aircraft. The completion will be done at uh, Metro Aviation's Completion Center in Shreveport, Louisiana. We plan on putting it into a light EMS configuration along with a light law enforcement configuration with some uh, utility seating to kind of demonstrate to the different users in the market uh, the capability of the aircraft. We, we are working very hard. We actually believe we have two confirmed sales of the aircraft at the show uh, with a lot of interest both in South America, the law enforcement industry in the U.S., and we've just scratched the surface on this particular model. We also, as part of the completion, we're going to add the, the uh, Genesis Helisas to the aircraft on, on the completion, so it will have a two-axis autopilot that's capable of altitude hold, flying approaches, and just the basic functions of an autopilot. So it'll still have the, 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 cap the capability of an autopilot, just not the certification of IFR. One of the big things is we're planning to work with Airbus to request that this aircraft be completed at their Mississippi plant, so it will be a, a there'll probably be two paths for the aircraft, one out of Germany, type certificate out of Germany, and one built under license out of the Mississippi plant for Airbus. Yeah, we've, we have the country's first T2 uh, in our shop for completion. It's actually on display at the Airbus uh, booth. Uh, that, that customer is Dare County in North Carolina. Uh, that again, we'll, we're updating all of our STCs for that aircraft. It'll be an EMS aircraft. Uh, we're real excited about that and plan for certification in June on that model.